It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a can from Australia from Hop Nation Brewing Company and it's a can of the Kalash Russian Imperial Stout 2018 coming in at 9.7% ABV. Massive, massive thank you to Michael for sending me the beer. Uh, Mick, as I call him, has been sending me beer for the last few months. I say last few months, continuously the last few months, but he's been sending me beer now probably for the last 18 months in total. Uh, we're trying some super exclusive beers from Australia. I'm really excited to get this out. Without further ado, let's get on. Thanks, Mick. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass then. 9.7% ABV. It's a nice head developing on the beer. We've probably got a one to two finger tan coloured head. Jet black beer in the glass, there's no light bleeding through there whatsoever. Uh, grid levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass there. If it was a clear beer, which it obviously isn't, I would say, or actually, if it was a lighter beer, a lighter coloured pale ale, then I would say it might be sli slightly hazy. It looks like it's got a bit of haze going on. It is black. It's very, very difficult to judge whether a, a black, a completely black beer is hazy. But I got a funny feeling. It sure is. There's a little bit left. Should we get it all in? But doesn't that look absolutely terrific? 9.7% ABV of pure Russian Imperial Stout goodness. Let's get the aroma. First thing I get personally is a touch of plum, a touch of fig, a touch of prune. Dates. Probably dark fruits coming through, that's what I'm trying to say. Then you get that kind of touch of vanilla, maybe a touch of licorice, you get some maybe some cinnamon, and then there's a woodiness. It's a barrel aged beer. A nice bit of wood coming through, and then your chocolate and your coffee and your caramels. They're your obvious aromas. What I like to do when I'm reviewing a beer is go, okay, you're the obvious aromas. You're the obvious tastes. We will leave you to last. We'll pick out what's different about the beer. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh. Put, put that down. Ho oh, ho ho! Gotta put that down! Stone the crows! Stone the crows! What a terrific, terrific Russian Imperial Stout! The mouthfeel has so much depth. It's creamy, it's rich. It coats your palate. It leaves a little tingle of carbonation just rolling over your palate, but then the beer is just so dense. It's like engine oil just sitting there on the palate. And as the beer sits there on the palate, it's constantly releasing flavours. It's just sitting on your palate. I mean, not all of the liquid, of course. That would be more than liquid, wouldn't it? If it was just the whole liquid was sitting in your mouth. It'd be some kind of weird solution. Obviously, a lot of it goes down into your stomach. You, you can feel that kind of warming sensation as the beer goes down. A little bit of alcohol warming in the pit of the stomach. But there's like a, 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 a little bit that just hangs around. Some lace and it's just some lovely mouthfeel. It just sticks about and it gives off flavours of licorice, vanilla, oak, woodiness. The obvious chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours. I'll get to them in a moment. Oh, blimey, I need to breathe. I need to breathe. That beer is absolutely immense. It's an immense beer. I'm scared to pick it back up. Can you see? Yeah, there it is. Just, just there. I'm scared to pick it up. So good. Such a good beer. It's just 
a mouthfeel. For me, when you get a Russian Imperial Stout right, it probably... People ask me all the time on my channel, what is your favourite style of beer? What beer would you take to a desert island? I get that about five times a week. What beer would you take to a desert island? And that's like the... the, the really, if you think about it, it's the most ridiculous question ever because I get to try so many different beers. If you ask me what style I would take to a desert island, it probably would be Russian Imperial Stout. It, it probably would be my favourite style of beer. For me, I like the body. I like the richness. I like the, the big, fat, almost kind of choking engine oil mouthfeel that, that slips down into your palate and into the pit of your stomach. I like that kind of little tickle of alcohol woman as the beer goes down. Let's now talk about the core, the core flavours in the beer, which are vanilla, uh, there's some bitter chocolate, like you just snap some black, dark chocolate and you've just kind of bitten into it. And you've just, this lovely bitter chocolate flavour with the, the creamy depth of the mouthfeel as well goes with that, that square of chocolate. Espresso coffee. Maybe espresso with some with a big dash of milk, lactosey goodness that comes through from the coffee and the beer. There's no, probably not any coffee in the beer. I will also get to what I'm talking about in a moment. For you experienced beer lovers, you will already know what I'm talking about. I'm talking to the newbies, the people who are new to the channel or watching and wondering what I'm, why I'm raving so much about the beer. And then you have that little bit of sweet caramel that just kind of balances things out. It makes it that it, it's not too bitter. It's a little bit of sweetness just to help balance things through. What a terrific, what a terrific, terrific beer. So, for the newbies, there's no chocolate, there's no coffee, uh, there's probably no caramel either in the beer. What the brewer does is that he adds a certain amount of roasted malt. Roasted malt, a bit like a roasted coffee bean. You roast it, you get some dark, kind of roasty, toasty flavours out of the malt. Naturally, when you look at malt, it's pale coloured. You've all seen Weetabix, haven't you? That's, it, it's more or less the same colour as Weetabix. When they roast it, it, it would be a bit like roasting a Weetabix. The Weetabix would go jet black and it would taste completely different from that lovely little bit of grain that, that, that came out of the, the field just a few weeks ago. What a terrific beer. Welcome to the Kalush, the Kalash, sorry, Kalashnikov, Kalash. The 2018 Kalash was par partially aged in seasoned bourbon barrels for four months before blending. A subtle oak and bourbon character integrates with dark chocolate, tar and spice. Uh, this rich brooding beast will take you to the dark side. So they talked about the barrels. I talked about the barrels initially being kind of woody and slightly kind of whiskey-ish. That for me is that kind of slightly hot alcohol that's kind of rolling down into the pit of my stomach. I like that alcohol warming, by the way. I actually, you know, you're very kind of, you know you're drinking an alcoholic drink rather than some kind of weird hoopers hooch or something like that. What else do they talk about? Uh, they talk about the roasted malt, which we talked about earlier on, uh, taking you to the dark side. Um, and they're talking about dark chocolate, tar and spice. Of course, you're not going to put tar in the beer. The spiciness, for me, comes through as that bitterness from the hops. I understand what they're saying. I understand what they're saying with spice. It's actually a very, very good description. It's one that I might take on board and use in the future. Because you can use bitterness, because you know in your head you're using bitterness because, because the amount of hops that they use in the beer. But if you wasn't a beer geek like I am, and you gave this to somebody who was maybe new to beer, they may describe it as spice. 
And that's sometimes the easiest way to ex explain a beer. I felt like I've been talking a long, long time with this beer, uh, with this beer review, but I feel it's justified. It is such a good beer that I feel like I could just stand here for the next hour and drink the whole thing and speak to you about my experiences. But I won't. I won't. I'm going to rate it and I'm going to hope that you go out and find it. Cracking Australian craft beer, Russian Imperial Stout. For me, the Kalash by Hop Nation. Brewing Company. Get to Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Relo Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.